It was three cheers for the USS Arleigh Burke. The $1 billion vessel is the lead ship of a new line of Navy destroyers that will be equipped with the sophisticated Aegis weapon system and the most advanced radars and computers that can operate against submarines, air attacks, and other surface warships. Simply put, it's the best money can buy. 10,000 plus people braved threatening weather at Norfolk's Town Point Park for the big event. Among the crowd, the 89-year-old World War II hero for whom the ship is named. The decision to name this ship after our greatest living naval hero was not entered into lightly. Let's face it, if you named a ship after Arleigh Burke, it had better be good. And it turned out to be very good indeed. Keynote speaker, Defense Secretary Dick Cheney also praised Burke for his vision while serving as Navy Secretary. Then, Cheney turned his attention to the changing role of the American military in a constantly changing world. The end of the Cold War will permit us to reduce the size of our defenses, but not the quality. As Saddam Hussein reminded us, regional conflict, aggression, the spread of high-tech weapons still threaten the American interest. We must never take world stability and U.S. security for granted. Commander John Morgan assumed command as Burke's first skipper. Then it was Admiral Burke himself who had the last word. And may this ship do our duty for many years. And may she have good luck in all her endeavors. But even as the Burke is toasted, some in Congress are raising questions about her price tag. The Navy's oversight of contracts at Bath Iron Works was ineffective and contributed directly to improper charges and problems found, a July 3rd letter to Cheney reads. Because of lax Navy oversight, there was significant evidence that millions of dollars of mischarging had occurred. Don't let that report, which was leaked, mar their ceremony because they're going to change some of those facts that report is in error and it was a dirty trick played by somebody on the united states navy a great day like today so there and we're going to get to there may have been but that report far exaggerated the facts warner says he'll get to the bottom of it meantime he says this is a time to celebrate a great new american ship of course the 1980s and talk of a 600 ship navy are now long gone Defense Secretary Cheney said today that this country is just going to have to make do with a 450-ship Navy. And he seemed to suggest with ships like the Arleigh Burke coming along, the Navy and this country are going to be just fine. Mike Gooding, 13 News, Norfolk.